Well, before you hit the beach in Volusia County this weekend, beware. Officials say the sand out here is really soft this time of year, and they're running into some major problems with cars getting stuck out there. News 6's Molly Reed shows us how the problem is picking up and why ignoring the signs could cost you a pretty penny. The soft sand becomes a problem for drivers every summer around this time, but Beach Patrol says because of the lack in storms this year, it started much earlier, and they think the problem is only going to get worse. Pretty much half of our driving beach is uh, four-wheel drive only. A headache for Volusia Beach Patrol and drivers who get stuck. We have that red coquina sand drifting down from the north, so you'll see that on the extreme ends of the north and south end of the beach usually, but to, uh, right now you're seeing it everywhere. And many of those getting caught in the sand are the ones taking a chance, ignoring the signs that say four-wheel drive only. When one person gets stuck, it, it causes a chain reaction of, of stuck vehicles. Beach Patrol typically does what it can to tow the cars out, but this year it's become such a problem that the county's concessions contracted okay. with John Gardella. Cool. I'll be down less than 10. Most of the people that I pull out are those people that just want to try it themselves. It doesn't usually work out very well that way. Gardella owns Santo. He got these skills from his time as a Marine working in the desert. On a week Weekend day, we could do 10, 15, even up to 20. He says since June, he's pulled out about 200 cars. His phone doesn't okay. stop ringing. Text me a picture of your car stuck. For these visitors who took the chance, he got them out in five minutes. Try to park right here, so it's not on the ramp, so that's why I stuck. Beach Patrol says with Gardella now on the beach, it helps free up their officers to respond to emergencies. But the problem can be easily avoided by reading the signs and the sand. If you see that the sand is very rough and rutted, it's probably soft. The smoother the sand is, the better you are. And John says he does charge a pretty reasonable amount compared to a normal tow truck. He says he charges anywhere from $40 to $100 per tow. In Daytona Beach, Volusia County, I'm Molly Reed getting results, News 6.